Hey everyone, it's Paige Brannick and we're at Shaftesbury Glen today and I just finished playing with Jason who I would say has the most unique swing I have seen in a long time and he kind of warned me before the round and I've seen a lot of very um, beautiful swings and not so beautiful swings and kind of things everything in between but um, yours I think is number one I would have to say so I think we're going to teach people today on um, what you do and why you do it sounds like a plan to me. Thumper is, is wanting to be shared with the world. Uh, I've waited a long time for this moment, so uh, let's, let's teach you how to do it. And this is a great lesson for everyone. I know we're always kind of seeking this perfect swing or what we should should do or shouldn't do, but actually it's you should swing your own swing and do what you feel comfortable and not care what people think, because if it works, it works, right? That's right. Perfect's overrated. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy your swing. Play golf. Let it fly. So let's see this swing. Okay. So you said this kind of started because you played baseball and you like to kind of move your hands when you're swinging, correct? That's correct. And um, it just kind of happened and I've been given the chance to sit down with an instructor, but I don't know if any one of them's ready to tackle this project yet. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I enjoy it, I do it. Um, doesn't always go where I want it to, but I enjoy golf and it gets me out there. And like I said, it, and that's it breaks all that the matters. ice. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, let's show you how to do it, and then we'll give you a chance to, to give it a fly. So the most important thing in the first part is addressing the ball. Instead of addressing it like everyone else here, you actually need to start about what would you say? Two feet. Two feet back. Let's say two to. And it's flexible. It can be two and a half. It can be one and three quarters. Just whatever you're feeling. That whatever day. you're feeling. But start the swing back here and get your hands nice and loose. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to start your take back and your follow through just the same. But the big question is, how many thumps are you? <laughs> For the most part, on a big shot, I'm a three hump guy. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember how many I did. I'm a three <laughs> hump guy. Yeah. So. One, two, three, and then I start the swing. Okay. But it's up to each individual, so. so I think I saw maybe four or five thumbs out there. You know, I, the coffee got to me earlier. You know, I was a little upset about a, a, a couple shots, so um, but let's try it with a three. There it goes. I think the three's the number. So there you go guys, um, you have to start with your club about two to three feet behind the ball and then the real key is to do the three thumbs, wait a little bit, make sure you're good, get set, your mind right. get, get it set, and then a little inside and swing away. That way you'll have this perfect high little draw and that is a swing tip from Paige and Jason today.